everyone, I'm Corinne Salazar here at this beautiful beach in California. I'm gonna show you guys a get ripped in 15 minutes ab workout. So we're gonna go non-stop, different ab exercises all on our back. You can do these all at home. We're gonna get started. We're gonna do about a minute, maybe 45 seconds to a minute of each exercise and resting for anywhere from 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Just as soon as you're ready to go, we're gonna get right into the next exercise. So here we go. On our stomach, we're gonna start very basic. Crunch. timer for this we're gonna rest about 30 seconds right now what I'm doing is I'm actually gonna go by I'm gonna do it until it feels like it's burning and I almost can't keep going I'm gonna stop we're gonna rest for 30 to 40 seconds or we're gonna go again right into a different exercise same thing pretty much until burnout so we're switching it up we're gonna go into a reverse crunch on our back here we're gonna go here legs out and we're gonna exhale in lifting our butt Notice our head just stays up in one spot. resting holy crap it's only our second ab exercise and my stomach's already killing me so just keep going we're gonna do the same thing we're resting right now another 15 30 seconds and we're gonna go again next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, scissor our legs just like this okay in about five more seconds we're gonna get started if you need lower back support you can place your hands underneath your glutes to level out your back here we go resting stomach's on fire we're gonna do a hip thrust next remember we're resting about 25 to 30 seconds even 45 seconds if you need to take the time next we're gonna hold our legs straight up and we're gonna lift our butt off the ground reaching up towards the sky exhaling on the way up I'm gonna place my hands underneath to 
level up my back and I'm just gonna go up. until you feel like you can't do them anymore. All right. Oh, man. I'm feeling it. I'm sure you are, too. Hang in there with us. It's not going to be long before we've hit our 15-minute mark. Next, we're going to target our upper abs a little bit more. We're going to hold our legs up. This will kind of give you a little bit of a break. We were just doing lower abs. We're going to do upper now. We're just going to exhale towards our toes. Working more of the upper abs here. seconds I'm gonna take right now because I really feel my stomach. I want to catch my breath here. Work my energy up to do a little bit more. I'm gonna do a full a reverse crunch right now. I'm gonna go arms out, legs all the way out straight, and I'm gonna crunch my body in complete completely, lifting my head and my shoulders every time exhaling as I crunch in. Here we go. Killer. They work everything. Upper, lower, middle. I'm dying already. Just when I feel like I can't do more, I'm gonna push for five more. I'm sure you're feeling your abs too. Remember, don't quit. If they're not burning, it's not working. So if it don't hurt, it don't work. Definitely keep pushing, okay? We're gonna do something a little bit different. Work more of the lower abs again. We're gonna go here. Over, under, over, under. In about five more seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Here we go. ones you start to feel right away. The higher you bring your legs up, the easier it is, but don't cheat yourself. Push. I'm going to place my hands underneath. I'm starting to feel a little bit of tension. 
So, still feel this way in my lower abs, definitely feeling it. Almost there guys, come on, push. All right, resting. I'm gonna take a full 45 seconds because I'm feeling this like crazy. I'm gonna turn it back around this way. We're gonna do one, all of these working both our upper, sorry, our lower, our upper, and some of those working everything in between. I'm gonna have you guys do one that is uh, more focused on your obliques without actually getting up or turning on your sides, without even twisting. We're just gonna go here, you're gonna lift one leg and you wanna have it parallel with your other leg just together like this. You're gonna take one arm and you're gonna come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, About 12 is good on one side. We're going to go to the other side. Two more. I think we're almost at our 15 minute mark guys. I've been pushing really hard. I hope you have been too. We're going to rest our 45 seconds right now and we're going to do just a couple more. I am feeling these. Oh, you know, we're going to uh, grab a ball and do a different exercise for you guys. Uh. and we're really gonna push it for these last three. Maybe two. I'll show you guys one that's a combination and one that is just for lower abs, okay? We're gonna use our hands underneath our glutes. Okay, and we're just gonna bring this ball up and down, that's it. Touching the ground every time, exhaling on the way up. Make this a little bit harder, we're gonna lift our butt. Woo. Great job. We are almost done. Now I'm gonna do a lower. I'm gonna hold this ball up. Last one here, we're just gonna bring our feet up and touch the ball, that's it. Here, take them back down. Last exercise, so make sure you do it right. Kill my lower abs, almost done. All right, great job. If you hung in there, excellent. I'm sure you're feeling your stomach nice and tight. And if you do that two, three times a week, 
push it for 15 minutes, different exercises, and resting your 45 seconds in between. You're going to have those six-pack abs before you know it. Great job.